Hey everyone, if you are wondering how to save your zinnia seeds, how to harvest them from your existing plants so that you can save them and plant them next year, this video is for you. I am out and about in my little garden today and I am going to show you how to deadhead some of these flowers and to save the seeds. It's very easy, I promise. First, let's take a look here at my little garden. Everything's doing pretty good this year. This is our first year in this garden. So I didn't have super high hopes for everything, but everything has done pretty awesome. So I'm pretty pleased with that. These zinnias that I have here are actually from my grandmother. She started a little seed packet of them and had way too many for her little cottage. So she gave us some to plant and man, they have really exploded. So I definitely want to take some of the um, seeds from some of the dead flowers here so that I can save them for next year and keep these grandma zinnias going. You can see this one here, it's starting to show some signs of stress. It's really leaning. Um, it's starting to get a little brown and crunchy at the bottom. This is just a sign of both the plant's age and the fact that we have had some extreme hot weather here in Maryland lately. So luckily, some of these super brown dying off zinnia heads are the kind of zinnia heads that we need to harvest uh, the seeds. And I will show you exactly how here. So I've got my camera set up. I'm down here by the flowers and I am going to show you the type of flower head that you want to cut off. So you want it to be as brown as possible. This one right here is a great example. You can tell that it's just about to start losing its own petals, um, dropping them and disintegrating that because it's so dry. The stem is starting to turn brown up here and basically everything on it is really dry and fragile and brown. There's another one dying off down here that I'd like to take as well to show you. This one might actually be a little bit better of a candidate because it is even drier on the stem. It's very brown, very yucky, but perfect for seed harvesting. There's definitely a few I want to take off on this orange plant. This one's a good example here. So this one is drying and it's not too cute, but you can see it definitely still has some of the orange left on it. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this one. I'm not going to harvest seeds from it. I'm just going to toss it in the compost. But just to show you exactly what I mean here. So it's brown, it's yucky, it's definitely starting to dry, but it still has some of that orange on top. And I found a great candidate on the other side of the plant here, so I'm going to cut it and show you. And since these are different color plants, I'm definitely going to want to make sure that I keep these in separate piles. If colors don't matter to you, then that's not a big deal. And this one that I cut just now is a great example. You can see that it's actually starting to fall apart by itself already. Um, it doesn't even need me to pick it apart. It's just starting to go to seed and naturally shed its petals and seeds everywhere so the flower can carry on. And you definitely want to make sure that you're not harvesting zinnia seeds from cut flowers. So if you have flowers that you cut and put in a vase, you don't want to harvest the seeds from those. You want to let the plant brown and dry and die off on the actual plant, the flower, excuse me. Um, you want to let the flower dry and die off on the actual plant before you snip it and harvest the seeds from it. All right, so I am sitting down out of the sun here and I'm arranging on my little paper towels here and you can see that some of these are already definitely falling apart. So let's take the one that is the closest to falling apart on its own. And what you're gonna do is just literally pull it apart like this. That's it. Um, and that's why you want it to be super dry on its own because if it just crumbles like this, that means it's ready. And now you need to sort through everything that you've pulled out here. Don't feel like you have to pull out every single seed, but here, I'll show you guys a close-up spot. You can just see, you can pick out the seeds here. These are the seeds. It can be kind of hard to tell if you are sifting through all of the remnants of the petals as well. Um, so what I like to do is just crumble a few at once here. Let me find the next driest one. This one's pretty dry. Crumble this one. And then just sit down and relax and go through all the little petals and pull out your seeds. And then start a little pile to the side for your seeds. And I won't make you look at me picking through all of these seeds, but you get the, you get the gist. I'm just 
slowly but surely pull out the seeds and then transfer them to a separate area. So once you're done harvesting your seeds, keep them on the paper towels, sort them by color, size, type, whatever. Um, and I would let them sit for a couple more days in a cool, dry place just to make sure they are totally dry. Um, and then once they're totally dry, uh, you can store them in any sort of container. It doesn't really matter. Plastic bag, paper bag, little container with a lid, labels, um, doesn't matter. I'm just going to throw mine in a little plastic bag wrapped in a paper towel um, and label them by color and type and then I'll be able to start them in the spring. So hopefully this answers your question and you are able to get started on harvesting zinnia seeds for your next spring harvest. Um, I'm hoping to do more of these short, quick, easy in the garden type videos when I think of different things when I'm out and about in the garden. Um, so definitely subscribe if you're interested in this sort of thing and I will see you next time.